It's August and we're walking with weights today. Grab your lightest dumbbells and let's go. All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Go ahead and have your weights completely out of the way. And we're gonna get started with some arm circles and high knees, you guys. <laughs> Welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend and around here we are all about making peace with our menopausal bodies by finding a healthy way and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And I am cracking up because she's mostly off camera. I know you can't quite see her but Blossom is right in front of me. Right in front of me. <laughs> She's, she's having her own little shenanigans here, trying to decide whether or not she's gonna sit in the chair, if she's gonna wander around. <sighs> How's your day going? You having a good time? <laughs> no distractions? Nice quiet place to be doing your workout. I'm gonna tell you that I have already tried starting to the film this workout this is my third time. The first time, my neighbor came over, rang the doorbell, started talking to me. The second time, I had just gotten started. Blossom started walking around, decided that she was starving and needed to go out. So I was super glad that I hadn't gotten very far into it. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. This time, she's still walking around. I'm not sure how well this is going to go today. But you know what? Let's have a good time with it anyways, because that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes we're super distracted, we've got a million other things going on, and yet here we are, ah, together, working out, having a good time, doing some walking with weights. See, you knew I was gonna start singing eventually, <laughs> because I love walking with weights workouts. This one is one of my absolute favorites of all time, and we're doing this one of my kind of favorite ways. I used to be all about circuits when I was a young trainer, <laughs> a young trainer in my 40s. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. But I used to plan all kinds of circuit workouts. I love them because you don't have to think very hard about circuits. You know, you just have like a list of exercises, you go through them, you know, two, three, four, five times, whatever, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I have come to appreciate in my, my ripe old age, that I really like mini circuits even better. So you guys, here's what we're doing today. I have mini, mini circuits. <laughs> The first one of those is spelled with an A. The second one of those is spelled with two I's. I have a good handful of mini circuits that we are going to work through. So it is repeating, but not too repetitive. We've got to do some walking, gonna have a good time. I'm gonna tell you right now that when we walk with weights, it is very easy to accidentally go over moderate. So I'm gonna tell you so many times to slow it down, to take it at your own pace, to have a good time. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for 30 second intervals, which is right on the edge of pushing us, but not necessarily actually pushing us. Let's go ahead and get started, by the way, speaking of that. I'm going to get the timer going. I'm going to grab my weights. We're going to start with walking. Every one of the mini circuits, the many mini circuits, starts with walking. So when in doubt, walk it out, my friends. When it beeps, we're going to do booty kicker elbow swings. I have tried so hard today to really be careful of my transitions. <laughs> There's something about having weights in my hands that makes this slightly more complicated than any other kind of workout. And it really shouldn't. I know that that's a mental thing. So booty kick or elbow swings. But I know me, and here's what I know about me. <laughs> I am not very coordinated sometimes. I really have to think very hard about my brain body connection sometimes. So I'm taking this easy on myself. When in doubt, I'm just gonna take that extra half a second to transition between the exercises. When it beeps, we're doing toy soldiers. Toy soldiers means that you have your hands up over your head and when you have your hands up over your head, your core better be in, huh? So hands up overhead, we're gonna reach our opposite hand towards our opposite foot. Go ahead and take that quick second. Oh yes, because even if you have been doing toy soldiers with me for years and years and years at this point, this year, gosh, you guys, this year, I have been on YouTube. Can I do math? I can do math. Technically speaking, I've been on YouTube for eight years, coming up in like another two months, I think. When it beeps again, we're doing triceps curl downs. Thankfully, we'll have our hands down a little bit lower. We're gonna start with our hands right about our middle, and we're going to, as we tap out to one side, we're doing a curl down and out. As you curl down and and out, you are twisting your palm. Your palm starts off facing your chest, and as it twists out and around, it's facing whatever is to the side of you. <laughs> For me, there's the wall, there's the hallway. Wall and hall. <laughs> when it beeps again. This was our entire mini circuit. So when it beeps again, we're coming back to walking and we're gonna repeat these exercises one more time through before we move on to our next mini circuit. So come back to walking. Ah, did you feel that? Yes. 
Walking's almost like rest. Did I mention that there's no rest today? Yeah, there's no rest today. Hey, Blossom, speaking of no rest, do you want to come over and sound, sweetheart? She's just sniffing around. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day no matter what happens. What it babes again? We're doing booty kicker elbow swings, you guys. Sometimes, have you noticed that sometimes fitness is like this? <laughs> so booty kicker elbow swings. That sometimes you just have to squeeze it in on a day when maybe you kind of didn't want to. I actually did want to work out today and yet somehow I still managed to procrastinate this workout until much later in the day than I would have preferred because sometimes that happens. Sometimes we do toy soldiers next. Sometimes people are walking around, dogs are walking around, things are happening. You guys have certainly seen my fair share of my animals doing things on camera that distract me. Toy soldiers, hands up overhead, opposite hand down towards that opposite kicking foot. Excellent job. Core is in, my friends. Here's the thing about doing cardio with something not very heavy in your hands. Oh, it's very different than just doing cardio. And I mean, I know I tell you all the time, by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing those triceps curl downs for the second and final time. I know I tell you all the time, pull in your core, think about your form. You know, no matter if we're doing cardio or strength or this, here we go with triceps curl downs, this lovely combination of both cardio and strength, although technically, Okay, technically I would call this toning because it's, yes, we have weights in our hands. It's not quite the same thing as like picking up heavy things and putting them back down again. This kind of work, I refer to it as toning because we're working on muscle endurance rather than muscle power. When beeps again, by the way, we're gonna do walking. And I can, I mean, I can tell you about that a little bit. Would you like to know about the difference between muscle strength and muscle endurance? Good, because I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> You guys, I'm an endurance athlete. I'm all about endurance. When you do my workouts, we are almost always working on endurance. Truly, it is my favorite thing. When it beeps again, we're doing double knees, which means we're gonna have our hands up overhead. We're gonna reach our elbows towards one knee at a time, two times in a row on the one knee, and then two times in a row on the other knee, which is why I call it double knees. There's never any other reason for me to name things other than the way they look in my head. So two times on one side, two times on the other. Thinking about good form, thinking about endurance, you guys. The thing about endurance versus power. And I know that sometimes when we're moving quickly, it feels powerful, right? When it beeps again, we're doing butter churns. Hands going up and down in front of you, one leg at a time kicking out to the side. I'm gonna think real hard about that. When my hands are down, my foot is out. Here we go, hands up. And as they come down, kicking out one leg to the side. Your palms are facing your body, your core is in. Even with your hands not overhead, we're still thinking about good form, thinking about endurance. You guys, the difference between endurance and power is not necessarily the speed with which we do things, it's the fact that we continue doing something or not. When it beeps again, we're doing skiers. Hands are going up and down in front of you with palms facing each other while your feet are shuffling back and forth underneath you. I generally try to go across my body and I don't think I am. No, I am, I am doing this properly. <laughs> That's real nice, isn't it? Hey, good for me doing this properly. You guys, the thing about endurance. Yes, of course, you're still thinking about good form. Of course, you're thinking about pulling in your core. Of course, you're thinking about moving your body, having a good brain-body connection. But also, the point of endurance is simply that you keep moving. You keep doing something. And here we are, back to walking. When you keep moving, keep doing something, you are training your body to keep moving, <laughs> keep doing something. And I know that sounds so ridiculous when I say it like that, but that is the point of endurance. You are simply enduring because you keep moving and you keep doing something. When it beeps again, we're doing double knees. I find that to be a brilliant metaphor for like literally everything in life because truly life is about endurance. We just keep moving and keep doing what we can. Here's double knees. If your weights get heavy, we put them down. <laughs> if the work gets difficult, we change to something else. If we need to slow down, we slow down, but we keep doing stuff because it's kind of all we can do. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing those butter turns again. This is something I actually think about a lot, really specifically when you guys are talking about, oh, you know, I had a rough weekend, I was out of my routine, but I'm gonna go ahead here, butter turns. 
I almost went back to walking. <laughs> Butter turns, hands going up and down in front of us, palms facing your body, one leg kicking out at a time. But we'll talk about being off track and how, you know what, it's Monday, I'm gonna get back on track. And I gotta tell you, I understand, I understand why we all wanna think that way, because we'd really, really, really like to pretend that sometimes when we're doing things that we don't wanna do, that maybe it doesn't count somehow. When it beeps again, here we go with skiers. But yet, we're always on the track, the track of our life. We are always in this endurance game. We are always moving forward, whether, whether we like what we're doing or we don't like what we're doing. It's important to realize that we're always still heading in the same direction, whether we are really doing the things that we mean to in order to get to our goals or not. For example, me procrastinating <laughs> this workout. Here we go with walking again because that was the end of mini circuit number two. Whether you are procrastinating or you are actually filming the workout that you meant to film today or you are doing whatever it is that you're doing, eating outside of your calorie range or not sleeping and staying up too late or whatever it is that you are doing, you are still headed in one direction. When it beeps again, we're doing swimming frogs. Hands are going to come up overhead. As we bring our elbows down nice and wide, we're bringing up one wide knee at a time. Oh my gosh. Great job. I am definitely slowing this down. Having something even light in my hands really changes this exercise. So I'm going to think about keeping my heart rate moderate because my friends, the harder you work, the harder it is to lose weight. When it beeps again, we're doing twisting punch step backs. I swear this has another name, but for the life of me, I couldn't come up with anything else. So we're twisting from the torso and punching out in the opposite direction of whichever foot is stepping back. So for example, when my left foot is stepping back, my left arm is punching towards my right side. Oh my gosh, really thinking whew, about keeping your core in on this one. Lots of moving parts. When it beeps again, we're doing half jacks. That's exactly what it sounds like. It's like half of a jumping jack at a time. We're doing the right half and then the left half. So right half and then left half. And I'm gonna tap rather than flying my foot. Whew, there we go. This is not a break. <laughs> None of it is. None of this is off track, my friends. So therefore, think about what you want to be doing while you're on this indelible track that we're on. Do you need to slow down a little bit? Need to drop your weights? Need to just give yourself a little bit of a break? Need to come back to walking, which we're going to do next anyways? What do you need to do to be on track all the time? Well, here's what you need to do. I'm going to tell you. Ask you a question. Tell you the answer. <laughs> The thing that we all need to do to remind ourselves that we are always on track is to take responsibility for our actions. <sighs> that was not the answer you wanted to hear. That was not the answer I wanted to hear. Wouldn't it be scared we're doing swimming frogs? You guys, I am responsible for the fact that I spent the morning reading a book. I am responsible for the fact that I did a lot more laying around today than I had intended to do. The only thing I could do about that is accept the fact that I did it. I could beat myself up. I absolutely could. When it beeps again, we're doing those twisting punch step backs. And if you guys remember the name that I've used for those for the last however many years that we've been doing that move, I swear it has a different name. Couldn't come up with it. I do this pretty frequently. I'm sure that some of you who have been around a long time, here we go with twisting punch step backs. Some of you who have been around for a while are like, didn't that used to be called such and such? Sure did. And then I gave it a different name because I couldn't remember the old one. <laughs> I have literally hundreds of exercises, maybe not hundreds. I definitely have dozens though. But you guys, here's the thing about beating yourself up about something that you've already done. It's done. It is. <laughs> I'm coming up with all kinds of really inappropriate metaphors in my head right now. That's so funny. We're doing half jacks right now, and this is the end of this mini circuit. So the next time it beeps, we're doing we're doing blocking again because we're starting the next uh, mini circuit. I'm thinking of all kinds of things that can't be undone, and I'm not going to mention any of them because for the life of me, the ship has sailed. How about that one? The ship has sailed. That. When, when we spend time beating ourselves up about something that has already happened,
happened. You can't undo it. You can't make it not have happened. There is no such thing as a time machine that will go back in time and have me not finish that book that I wanted to read this morning because I wanted to read it. <coughs> Excuse me. When it beeps again, we're doing ding dongs, one of my favorites. I love that one, partially because right now, today, now that I'm all sweaty and everything, it's kind of nice to keep my hands a little bit low for some of these exercises, right? Hands go up, heart rate goes up. We're swinging from side to side. Your hands are staying low, but they're actually going to swing kind of high out to the side. As we swing to that side, your foot is going to kick out on that same side. We could call these weeble wobbles <laughs> because it sure feels like it. I love this exercise. It starts to feel very momentum based. Based, and it's just fun to swing from side to side because having something kind of moderately heavy in your hands, not even moderately, light, lightly heavy in your hands, really gets this one rocking when it beeps again. We're doing dancing X's. Hands are going to be up and out wide, like with the letter X. Your feet are also going to be out wide. We're going to crunch into the middle. So opposite elbow meeting your opposite knee. Oh, I'm going to slow this way down, aren't I? Oh my gosh, really thinking about where your heart rate is. What can you endure right now? You guys, when it beeps again, hands are going to stay up. Oh, I know. This is what happens sometimes. We're going to be doing day breaks. It's 30 seconds. You can do this. You can endure this. And by enduring it once, here we go with day breaks. So feet are just tapping from side to side. Hands are swaying from side to side. Sometimes when I do not have something heavy in my hands, this is a little bit faster right now. This is what I can endure. When it beeps again, we're coming back to walking. Gonna bring those hands down. If you need to bring them down now, you can make them, what, mid noon breaks. <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh. All right, you guys, <laughs> we can definitely endure something when we're laughing at it. Here we go back to walking, thank goodness. But here's the thing about beating yourself up about something that has already happened. You actually waste even more time. Really specifically in the case of wasting time, this makes so much sense. When I waste time and then I beat myself up about wasting time, I'm wasting more time because I'm spending that mental energy. And when you're beating yourself up, I don't know if you've ever noticed it, when you're beating yourself up, you're not real motivated to get up and do something, are you? Here we go with ding dongs. That is the real problem with talking anything other than nicely to yourself. When you speak mean to yourself, you are actually preventing yourself from doing whatever it is that you wanted to go do in the first place. When it beeps again, we're doing those dancing X's. This is, it's like compounding the problem. When something has already happened, the only thing to do is simply acknowledge that it happened. Acknowledge that you were responsible for making that decision. Here we are with dancing X's. I chose, I chose to finish reading that book. It was a good book, it was interesting. I chose to do that, and that means that I chose not to do the thing that I wanted to do. Accepting that about myself, that sometimes I make decisions that are not in my best interest. <laughs> sometimes, when it beeps again, we're doing day breaks. Sometimes I choose to do the thing that is not gonna move me towards my goals. I choose to do the thing that is not well, it was good for me. I mean, it's good for my brain to read. I've actually been legitimately trying to read more. There was a couple of years, even though I love to read, there was a couple of years where I really didn't read at all. I told myself I didn't have time. And some of that was really, it was that I didn't love myself enough to make time. And so now I'm choosing to do that on purpose, is to read because I enjoy it, because it's nice to me. So on the one hand, by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing walking. On the one hand, maybe that was a great choice. And that's a great way for me to think about it. It was not moving me closer to my business goals, my you know aspirations of being the dominant YouTuber of the world. <laughs> Just not my aspiration at all. But it was a funny thing to say. But also, it was a choice made of self-love. It was something that I did out of self-love. When it beeps again, we're doing wide open side kicks. Weights are gonna be right here at your chest. Elbows are gonna be shoulder height the whole time. You're gonna love that. As our hands open up, one foot kicks out to the side at a time. If you need to lower your elbows, totally fine. The having your elbows high, obviously, it's good for your triceps. It's good for the lower part of your arms. But if you can't do it without pain or burning in your shoulder, that means that you're recruiting the wrong muscles anyways. You should be feeling this in the middle of your back 
and underneath your arms. A little bit on top of your shoulders as well. When it beeps again, we're doing middle skips. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're skipping, but we're not jumping as part of the skip, which is why I call it a middle skip. So one knee is coming up at the same time as its opposite hand. We're swinging that arm. Yay, skipping merrily without skipping at all, because skipping is not really, not really my forte. And it beeps again. We're doing pretzel jacks. Yes, I know, lots of shoulder work in this final mini circuit. Whatever you need to do to endure that work, drop your weights, go slower, whatever, you do that, my friend. Make sure that you're enduring. Pretzel jacks means that your hands are doing jumping jacks and your lower body is coming into a little bit of a pretzel at a time. Used to call these tree jacks. Speaking of exercises that have changed names, I decided, because I call this a pretzel stretch when I'm doing this kind of stretch, I decided to start calling it a pretzel jack instead. <laughs> this is what I do, you guys. It's my YouTube channel. I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> and I will take responsibility for that. Sometimes, for some of you, you're not going to like that. Here we come back to walking. You're not going to like the fact that I'm not consistent. You're not going to like the fact that I change names. You're not going to like the fact that I have silly names for everything instead of explanatory names or names that tell you what muscles you're working on or whatever. Sometimes other people are going to be affected by the decisions that I make. Sometimes I am going to be affected by the decisions that I make. I take responsibility for all of it. All of it. And by doing that, I set myself free. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing those wide open side kicks. Beating yourself up, we all, we all think that that's the thing that's gonna keep us from ever doing anything terrible again. If I beat myself up enough about this decision that I made to eat ice cream last night, I'll never eat ice cream again. My friends, you are totally gonna eat ice cream again. <laughs> you know, I am totally going to sit and read a book when I should have been recording a podcast and filming a workout. When it beeps again, doing those middle skips, I am absolutely Absolutely, at some point, going to make another decision that does not get me to my goal, that does not serve me in any manner. Except that, I mean, again, it kind of did. I like to read. It felt good. It was relaxing in the moment. And I accept responsibility for that. When you accept responsibility for the things that you have done, when you accept the fact that it was your choice, nobody made you do it, nobody else's fault, nobody else's anything, it was you, you chose. Do you feel how much lighter that is? I chose, I chose and it's all on me. Beating yourself up weighs you down. Here we go with pretzel jacks. Last exercise in our last mini circuit. Beating yourself up feels heavy. It feels like a gut punch. It feels like you're just carrying it around with you forever because you are. You're still going over to your mind. You're still thinking I shouldn't have done that, but you already did. When you accept responsibility and say, oh yeah, I did that thing. You let it go. It releases right out of your hands and it's not a big deal. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're going to walk a lot slower because we are done, but we're not quite finished. I've got one final thing for us and I want to get my heart rate down a little bit. I want to have my hands down for a couple of seconds because I've got one final thing. It's only one more interval. We're not going to try and do too much of it, but it is a little bit of balance work because, you know, we haven't done enough balance work today. We're doing super slow letter K's. Hands are going to be up overhead, so if you would rather do this empty-handed, put your weights down now. Totally fine. Whatever you need to do to endure this, my friend, that's what we're going to do. Core is in nice and tight. Accept responsibility for what choice you're making. If you drop your weights, don't knock yourself out about it. Don't beat yourself up for, oh, I should have had weights in my hand. If you should have had weights in your hands, you would have had weights in your hands. You made the choice, you made the decision to drop the weights so that you could endure the longer workout. Not longer, but I mean the workout. Ah. You make decisions all the time. And sometimes you might look back and be like, oh, that wasn't a great decision. Let's go ahead, cool this down, you guys. But it was, it was a great decision. It was a great decision because it's already been made. Whatever decision you made, it was the best decision that you could have made at the time. And maybe in the future you'll make a different decision and that's okay too. But you've already made the decision. Take responsibility, let it go. It's kind of like putting down some weights. Hands feel real nice now, your arms feel real loose now, don't they? Feels so, so good to let go of the things you don't need to hold on to. My friends, that's got real philosophical today, didn't it? <laughs> it also got really sweaty. Oh my gosh.
gosh, I'm going to go sit under a fan for a while. Let's go ahead and open this up. Ah. And then we're going to close it up and give yourself a big hug and a pat on your sweaty, sweaty back. What a good choice you made to do this workout, to keep it moderate, to stay on track with your goals. One way or another, we're getting there. We're getting there, my friends, here on screen. I've got a longer cool down for you, of course, because sometimes we need a longer cool down. And even though we didn't really talk about weight loss very much today, just in case if you'd like a reminder of all the things that we do for weight loss, I have that on the screen too. <sighs> no matter what you do next, make sure you subscribe because I'll see you tomorrow.